Hi everybody, if you're considering getting a Shadow Boost cloud gaming PC, and I highly recommend them, I've had mine for a couple of months now, transformed my gaming experience. I've, you know, I've got a PlayStation, I've got an Xbox, I always wanted the ability to play high-end gaming PCs, enjoyed NVIDIA's GeForce Now, but wanted... Uh, more versatility in my choice of games and this is where the shadow boost comes in however you may well be wondering well what is the actual performance of these you know what's the benchmark so what i've done is i've benchmarked um my shadow boost uh, on internet speed and we've done a hardware um, benchmark as well so first off let's have a quick look at the tech specs what shadows say you'll get so they say when you when you get a shadow boost gaming pc a cloud one you'll have um, a gtx 1080 or equivalent gpu graphics card you'll have a 3.4 gigahertz or equivalent four core eight thread processor 12 gigabytes of ram and the base uh, 256 gigabyte ssd drive which is very low i'll say that straight away when you look at the prices you're not going to be using. To, you, you're going to be getting at least five hundred and twelve. So you're going to be paying and that other th extra three pounds a month to get five hundred twelve. I've gone up to seven hundred and fifty-six or whatever. Um, so I think I pay about eighteen pounds a month, maybe twenty pounds a month, something like that. But I think it's it's definitely well worth it. So first off, let's test test the. Uh, well, let's look at the test for the internet speed. So remember. Your Shadow Boost is sitting in a data centre, in my case probably in London, because I'm in the UK, um, and they have excellent internet there. Which means, you know, this is using the Google speed test, you're getting to your Shadow Boost PC 960 megabits down and 104 megabits up. So that's almost, would that be a gigabyte, a gigabit down and 100 megabits up? Um, so what that means is you have very low and you have low latency. We've got an eight millisecond latency from our shadow boost to the Google test center, wherever that is. So that's really good. Now, obviously, you're going to have that. That doesn't mean you've got 960 megabits on your your old laptop, your old computer, your your phone or your tablet. You're doing. You know, you've still got the internet connection that you've got. But it does mean that the, any games that are relying on lots of bandwidth. Um, can do it very very easily also it means it's very easy and fast to download stuff so although you might only have a 512 megabyte hard drive it doesn't take long to to download a new game you know so you you kind of have that console experience of you download a game and play it then you delete it and then you'll download another game because your internet speed is so fast so i also did the ookla speed test you know and with this we get a seven millisecond ping and we got 683 megabits down and 105 megabits up which you know that's very it's, it's really really good it's really really good and i have to say that the software that shadow use to um stream this remote because this is let me show you actually this this is a it is a remote desktop so this is the this is my windows 10 computer in the cloud sit you know so i'm i'm accessing this through the shadow boost app but if for example we go back to um we go back to here this is my normal so this is my crappy laptop desktop you know the, the the laptop that can't play patience very well and yet because on my shadow boost i can play AAA games at high resolutions so let's have a actually have a look at the hardware benchmark so i used userbenchmark.com because it's fast and it's free <laughs> And so it gave my Shadow Boost a battleship rating for gaming and a battleship rating for desktop being a desktop and a destroyer rating for being a, uh, a workstation. So what does that mean? Well, let's read these things down here. In fact, let's make this screen a bit bigger. Here we go. Overall, this PC is performing above expectations. It's in the 66th percentile. This means that out of 100 PCs with exactly the same components, 34 perform better. The overall PC percentile is the average of each of its individual components. Processor. With a good single core, core score, this CPU can easily handle the majority of general computing tasks. Additionally, this processor can handle very light workstation and use some very light server workloads. Finally, with a gaming score of 67.1%, the CPU stability for 3D gaming is above average. Here we go. So gaming is what we're really interested in, isn't it? Graphics. 101% is an outstanding 3D score. It's the bee's knees. This GPU can handle all 3D games at very high resolutions and ultra detail levels. 
Boot drive, 62.6% is a good SSD score. This drive enables fast boots, responsive applications, and ensures minimum systems in out wait times. Memory, 12 gigabytes is enough RAM to run any versions of Windows, and it's more than sufficient for nearly all games. 12 gigabyte also allows for a very large file and system caches, software development, and batch photo editing processing. So there we go. It's pretty good, eh? So let's go down then and look at what actual... Um, what they actually picked up. So the processor they picked up is it says they say it's an Intel Xeon E eight E five two six seven eight V three, um, four core eight threads, uh, sixty seven percent good, excellent. Here we go. So the graphics card as we expected, the Nvidia GTX ten eighty. Um, they're actually saying it's it's performing below potential so it's in the 29th percentile so there's probably something i could do to optimize my setup with the gtx 1080 probably to make it even better but as you can see you know it's got an outstanding result um we've got the 275 gigabyte hard drive i think that's extension the i think that's the extended one and i think the 550 gigabyte hard drive that's the uh, the normal one could be wrong and there's the memory uh, 113 percent outstanding um result so and there's there's more stuff here as well um that you can see so over, so as you can see <coughs> your shadow cloud gaming pc is a hottie gaming pc <laughs> it really is you know you've got amazing internet and you've got amazing uh, hardware performance and you've got the amazing software, you know, the secret source that gives you virtually lag-free gaming through a streaming setup. And, you know, I play first-person shooter games and third-person shooter games, and the responsiveness surprises me all the time. It's almost like magic, the way that this works. Um, better than GeForce Now. Um, and, yeah, it, it, it's absolutely crazy how good this is. So... If you think you want a high-end gaming PC, but you balk at the price, the fact that they are so expensive, please consider a Shadow Boost gaming PC. There is a long waiting list, but you know you put your first month down. You don't pay while you're waiting, and then when you get it, check it out. Maybe keep it for a month, see how you get on. Because the beauty with these is it is your own remote Windows 10 PC in the cloud, which means that you know you just buy your games off Steam, you buy them off Good Old Games, you buy them off Epic, you buy them off Bethesda, you buy them off Uplay, all that sort of stuff. And that you know, even if Shadow Boost was to go away, you could still, you know, you've still got all those games because you've bought them on, on other platforms. So there we go, that, that's enough from me. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you've got any questions, put them down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe. And I will of course see you again soon.